and welcome to the fish room. I am Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a Tuesday tip. And because it's Tuesday, I'm running way behind. It's a busy, busy day for me, following a busy, busy day, so we're gonna cut right to it. Um, a, a lot of you have asked me, you know, how do I maintain so many tanks? You know, how do I maintain water quality in so many tanks? And the reality is I have a secret weapon. Well, it's not a secret and it's not really a weapon, but I utilize what's called poly filter um, in most of my aquariums with new fish. Now, it's a filter media, and there's three main types of filter media. There is your biological filtration, which is the stuff that helps promote the growth of the beneficial bacteria in an aquarium. This is your ceramic rings, your lava rock, like any surface that bacteria can grow on and really encourage them to grow on. Like the giant foam piece in my matten filter, bio balls, things like that. Then there's your mechanical filtration and that's the stuff that actually filters the particles out of the water and that's its main purpose. Uh, that's your, your filter floss, your filter pads, your, your foam as well. Um, that's one of the reasons I like foam so much is that it provides a huge surface for bacteria as well as filtering out the particulates from the water. The third type of uh, filtration media that I want to talk about is chemical media. Now most commonly this is, this is carbon in a freshwater aquarium system. I don't use any carbon. Number one, um, you have to change it out too frequently for it to retain efficacy. It's messy. You have to use filter bags. It has to go in the filter and as you guys know, in the vast majority of my fish room I'm utilizing sponge filtration which means there's not a filter compartment to place chemical media. And it's important for me to have access to chemical media because I import fish and sometimes I have to medicate them. And as I've talked to you guys about in the past, medications are inherently toxic. So as soon as I'm done my course of treatment, I like to be able to remove the medication immediately. And this is where polyfilter really comes in handy. Now, polyfilter has been around since the 70s and it's a really incredible filter media. It both adsorbs and absorbs, which means it can work in your filter or you can simply float it in the aquarium. Uh, it will change colors to show you what it's filtering out. For instance, if it's filtering out something like copper, it turns blue. If it's filtering out ammonia, it turns bright yellow. If it's filtering out tannins or heavy organics, it turns tan to brown. You get the idea. If it's filtering out meds that have a color like methylene blue, it will turn light blue, um, that sort of thing. Now, it's fish and invertebrate safe. It works for fresh water and salt water. It doesn't remove the trace elements needed for proper growth and molting with invertebrates. And I just find it to be extremely useful. Um, as you guys know, I put it in any of my new quarantine tanks so that in between water changes, it can get rid of any trace amounts of ammonia, reducing the stress to the critters. I actually also use it a very, very, very tiny piece in my shipping bags. Um, that way, you know, with little critters, every once in a while, one will get stuck in the crease of a bag. That way the water doesn't become compromised in transit. Now, I'm sure there's other products out there that work pretty well, but this one has just always worked beautifully for me. And all I do in my new aquariums this is what it looks like. It's uh, like a, it's a squishy pad, it's super easy to cut. I'll cut a postage stamp size out and add it to any aquarium where I'm adding new fish. I think this can be especially helpful in nano aquariums, aquariums under 10 gallons. As I've talked to you guys about, little tanks can have huge fluctuations in parameters, which is often deadly for the small, delicate fish and invertebrates that inhabit them. So I really recommend that you keep some of this on hand at your house. It's good when you're doing a new setup, when you're adding new critters. Uh, keep in mind it will remove fertilizers, it will remove medications, it will remove tannins, 
and things like that. So I don't use it as part of like my maintenance routine for all my aquariums. I really just use it for the ones where I'm adding a very heavy bio load in a small amount of water. Or in cases like this when I'm getting ready to ship. I cut it into these little tiny stripes and I put just the smallest little piece in there. Now I don't generally put it in with invertebrates and I don't know why. I just don't, but I definitely do with fish, especially those that are heavier waste producers. Because even though I don't feed before I ship, you know, they're in tanks with plants and the fish can be grazing and things like that. Now I think it's important to mention that this is certainly not a cure-all media. This isn't going to fix problems with your tank. This isn't an excuse to do a fish-in cycle. It's simply a great way to sort of buy yourself a little bit of time, especially in a small volume aquarium, between water changes. It is not a replacement for water changes in any capacity. Uh, the other thing that I find it to be really useful for is if you're having a problem aquarium, you know, if you have an aquarium that appears to be cycled, but inhabitants just aren't doing well, they're dying, especially with things like shrimp, you can put a piece of this in your aquarium and see what color it changes and really sort of help diagnose. On the back of the package, it says what colors it turns um, to tell you what it's absorbing. So like for instance, say you have copper in your water for some reason, which as we know is deadly to invertebrates, this will remove it. Interestingly enough, too, it says on their website that if you've done a copper treatment, which can be extremely difficult to get out of aquarium afterwards, making it inhospitable for invertebrates in the future, this will remove it. So that's great news for anyone who's ever had to treat using copper. Um, but again, I think it's just a really nice thing to have on hand for crisis time, for quarantine when you're when you're putting a lot of fish in a small environment um, in order to observe them. It just helps remove some of the trace ammonia before it can even register between your water changes. You know, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't get a discount on their product. I pay retail. This is about $8. Uh, they make a 12 by 12 pad as well, which is a higher concentration, but I prefer this one. You know, I just think this is a really useful secret weapon to keep in your arsenal in your fish room. Hope that helps. As always, I really appreciate the support you guys have shown me. The donations, the emails of encouragement, the comments below have been wonderful. So as always, let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. As always, make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. I'm going to get back to work shipping some fish. <laughs>